In this video, we're going to take a look at resonance structures, and specifically, we're going to look at how hybridization as well as sigma and pi bonds can explain some of the unique features of resonance structures. So let's start off with the Lewis structure of the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And if you recall from um, previous videos, the resonance structure um, for the nitrate ion or the Lewis structure can be drawn with three poss possible configurations. So these are based on where the double bond is located. So it could be here or here or here. Now, one sort of unique thing that we know about double bonds versus single bonds is that double bonds are generally shorter in length and stronger in strength than a single bond. So if you were looking at this, you might say that this bond here, or this bond here, or this bond here, the double bond is stronger in, in strength and also shorter in length than the other two single bonds. Okay, so that might be an assumption that you might make. However, with uh, resonance structures like this, we have something called delocalization of electrons. And so what it is, is um, defined as the sharing of a pair of electrons between three or more atoms. And it results in equivalent bonds that are intermediate in length and strength. So for our nitrate example, um, instead of having one shorter bond and two longer bonds, we actually have three bonds that are all the same strength and they're in between a single and double bond and they're all the same length, but they're in between a single and a double bond. Uh, so why is that possible and how does this happen? Well, if we kind of go back and examine the hybrid orbitals again, and we also look at these sigma and pi bonds, if we take nitrogen, nitrogen and the nitrate ion, since we're showing one double bonded, the other single, it's based on a trigonal planar shape. And so it has sp2 hybrid orbitals which means that there is an unhybridized p orbital. And so that's what's showing here is this unhybridized p orbital. Now, all of the oxygens that are bonded to it also have unhybridized p orbitals. And so when you kind of look at this molecule from the top or the bottom, um, or kind of just looking at the side here, you have possible pi bonds or possible side-to-side -side overlap between each of the nitrogens and each of the oxygens. Um, so instead of it just doing this side-to-side -side overlap between one of the oxygens, you actually get a region of delocalization where that pair of electrons is shared equally between all three of those other unhybridized p orbitals and the nitrogen p orbital. So you get kind of a bigger region where those two electrons can be. And so that what that's what essentially makes the single double bond, like the, the bond that's intermediate between a single and a double bond, um, is that you have that delocalization of those pi electrons between all of those unhybridized p orbitals. So another really interesting structure where this happens is benzene, or C6H6. Now in benzene, generally we have a six carbon ring, and when we draw it, we draw one carbon double bonded and then the next carbon single bonded and then there would be a hydrogen attached to each of those carbons. Uh, we can also represent it with a line diagram, like so, where we're showing double bonds here, or sometimes it's drawn as something like this. 
Um, so what's interesting about benzene is that, um, again, it doesn't have double bonds that are shorter and then single bonds that are longer in length, but all the carbon to carbon bonds are equal in length. And they all lie between a single and a double bond. Um, and this molecule is super energetically stable, stable has low reactivity. Um, and when you kind of take a look at the structure, each of those carbons, again, are sp2 hybridized um, hybrid orbitals. They each have a p orbital left over. So you, each one is sort of shown in this diagram here. And all of those can then do that side to side overlap with each other. And so instead of just doing single side to side overlaps, it's all sort of a big area of side to side overlap. So you get this almost like donut shape around both the top and the bottom. So above and below the ring where those electrons can sit in. So this is also said to have a delocalized pi electrons um, and ends up resulting in this sort of structure where the single and the or all of the bonds lie between a single and a double bond length. That's it then for this video. We'll see you in the next one.